Last year, Facebook was under scrutiny after a whistleblower went public with internal documents that revealed the company knew its app, Instagram, was toxic for teenage girls. After that information was leaked, Facebook pushed back, claiming that was not true. While Congress investigates, how can you as a parent help your teen dodge body image issues brought on by social media? I search for the answer to that question in this week's Wellness Check. The filters that people are you know, using create a false uh, reality and teenagers and, and even sometimes as young as middle school um, students, um, they, they don't recognize that. They think it's actually real and so they compare themselves to what's on the social media. We live in a time where images you see on social media seem too perfect, almost too good to be true. It's more of, okay, how can I do it? How can I look like them? How can I, um, you know, be more like them. But the unrealistic standards we might see on social media don't always translate that way for teens. When you take a look at um, young people, again, they want to fit in. And um, previous to social media, um, their time with their peers was real time, you know. Um, but now it's constant um, because of that instant access. And the instant access on social media has the filters, and, and they're not real. Tim Perron is a mental health therapist who says he's seen an increase in teens seeking help as a result of images they see on social media. I see quite a few teenagers um, that are they're struggling with not just um, um, their self-esteem, but depression, anxiety, um, potential eating disorders. So it's a, it's a real concern. If a teen seems to be struggling, Ron says parents should address the issue of social media directly. Be involved. Um, you know, p take a look at um, any noticeable changes. If you are recognizing as a parent that um, your child is not acting typical for themselves, whether it's their mood, whether it's their eating habits, their physical activity, um, check in with them. Run also suggests annual doctor checkups and parents should always model healthy habits so their kids can follow. A big piece of a parent's responsibility is to role model. And so if they're role modeling, you know, those, those healthy habits, whether it's with nutrition or physical activity, that's a great place to start. You might hear this advice often, but limit screen time. The longer they scroll, the more likely images on the app might promote eating disorders and self-harm. Maybe have some screen breaks where during meal time, the expectation is, hey, we all put our phones down um, so that they're less likely to engage in um, I'm checking their notifications on social media. And lastly, encourage your teen to discover their own strengths. Embracing what makes them unique prevents harmful habits of comparison. Focus on yourself. Focus on the things that, that you enjoy about yourself. Um, the strengths that you have. We all have individual strengths. Um, uh, strengths and talents. Physical activity that you enjoy. Getting outside, getting fresh air. Ron says the silver lining is seeing the increase in support area schools are offering to teens. Many offer healthy living classes, which educate students on adopting healthier habits and normalizing a well-balanced lifestyle.